Got that thing set on 25 volts. Let's go ahead and turn this one off. <clears throat> and wanted to show you guys what happens when you have coils in, in resonance with the primary, the secondary coil. Let's go ahead and pull this beast off. Okay. Now this uh, coil here that I made, I made it to be 633 kilohertz. And right here where I've tapped the primary, I have it set perfect. It's in resonance between that primary and that secondary. And you can see that this right here gives me a lot of action. Now this guy, I'm proud of this son of a bitch. This is my bing, bang, the bing, the bang, 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 okay? Now this one is set at 2,779 kilohertz, okay? And I want to show you guys what happens when you have a coil that's not in resonance with the primary. Okay. Nice top load. I got a top ring here. I'm using an 18 gauge wire. I got a 41 turns. And uh, it's my wooden display of uh, Colorado Springs. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Yeah, I had that thing on 26, 27 volts. That thing was it was beautiful resonance on that other coil. Not as beautiful as this guy, but definitely. So let's go ahead and take this on. And we're going to go ahead and light bulb is not lighting up. I go near the primary. Of course, I'm going to get it to bulb a little action. On the inside coil, it's not even acting. I'm gonna turn this sucker all the way up. Okay. All right. So here you can see how important it is to really, really build your secondary coil, guys. You guys are out there, you're experimenting with your, your Tesla um, coils. When you are putting together the secondary, think about what your frequency you wanna be at first before you build anything. The first most important thing is what frequency do you wanna drive at? And we're going to, on another video, show you this beast in action. And um, remember, the other one's got, uh, uh, where is it at? Where we put it? Oh, it's that one. We got that one there uh, using 30 gauge wire, too. So um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the capacitance. I'm right here. I got 14 bottles so we're sitting at 14 nano farads um it, it, it's not even close so what i'll do is pull it up on java show you guys when i show you how it's working um when you change the capacitance it's more about what you put into the primary on how to make the adjustments for what you have as a secondary now this thing right here is is set up so nice that <clears throat> it if you noticed on the other one well not that this video but my prior video i was getting breakout in the bottom band here the energy was running out from the bottom and jumping over and coming to the top and hitting the the wires that were coming up so it's good that this experiments um they're going to teach you guys, me, a lot. Um, you can already see on that video on what, I mean, I had everything down low. Spark App wasn't, you know, Spark App is going to um, disappear. 
Um, what I'm going to do is take my rotary gap here. I'm going to get this metal blade off. It grounded out everything on the shaft and the motor and everything. <clears throat> I'm going to make my own disc. And we're going to go with a rotary disc. And then we're going to convert coming out of the... Um, the out of the capacitor bank with a uh, diode so pretty much we're going to turn this into dc pulses and um yeah spark gap dirty <laughs> but it's getting the job done right now and you guys have been able to see look how far apart that this corral that's here um the primary could be away from the secondary i mean it's pretty much this is crazy this is every bit of uh uh this is a 19 and a half inches diameter so you guys do the math and it pretty much uh comes out to be um like 39 inches from from end to end so you don't even have to have it up high or on top of the coil to get stuff going on. So when you get stuff in resonance, man, it so shows that everything needs to be in resonance. And uh, for the ones out there that doesn't know, um, I'll be glad to do some videos. I'll show you um, from the Java um, calculator uh, how we could um, determine what coils, what frequency, um, pretty much uh, what, um, what capacitance we're gonna need and uh, also what resistance we're going to need in the system and um, on top of the uh, rotary gap i got um, in series to the rotary gap i got a special um, spark gap copper thing going to where it uh, takes the one initial bang pulse out of the capacitor bank and it turns it into a, a six quick uh, synchronous, synchronous flashes and um, the goal is to get that bell ringing so anyway you guys 13 minutes hope you enjoy leave some comments peace out